I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon joining me in the uh, the uh, first alert forecast center. I almost said I almost said the other thing, but yeah. you're not supposed to. So yeah. we're, we hey, haven't said that since August 21st. Exactly. Oh, is that the date? Yeah, August 22nd. We moved into this brand new facility. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Uh, if you need to know something, this is the guy. Uh, 61 <laughs> degrees at Bradley. Yes. 61 degrees. So we've surpassed the record for December 18th, and we could go a little bit higher. It, absolutely. Yeah. In the next couple of hours, we're going to show you the forecast trend for the temperatures in just a moment. First, let's take you to the wall. I do want to show you it's 59 degrees in Bridgeport right now. Uh, so we're getting close to that record, and that could actually go a little bit higher as well. Let's talk about the first alert weather day. It's through this morning with heavy rain, two to four inches. Uh, every Monday, it just seems like it's like deja vu from last Monday. Wind gusts 40 to 60 miles an hour. Wind gusts a little bit more intense than the last storm system. Flooding, power outages, and coastal flooding. For more on this, we're going to send it on over to uh, Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon, who's going to talk to us about some river flooding. Hey, Mark, good morning. Uh, yeah, Scott, indeed. Housatonic River uh, forecast to go above flood stage, minor flooding there, as well as the Still River there. And Brookfield forecast to go to moderate flooding, and we'll likely see additional rivers added to this list as we move forward in time. Uh, the Connecticut River eventually will also be swelling, uh, rising out of its banks. Uh, the coastal flood warning is in effect for the entirety of our shoreline and this is for the upcoming high tide cycle this afternoon with that southeasterly wind that's piling water into the sound so those two things in tandem could lead to a foot and a half to two and a half feet of inundation but let's talk about what's happening right now check a first alert live radar and this is a loop over 30 minutes we're focused into southwest connecticut because this is where we have a flood advisory this runs until 6 30 this morning uh, another batch of heavy rain uh, developing across fairfield county moving to the northeast. So this is uh, going to certainly impact travel throughout southwest Connecticut, certainly over I-84 and uh, poor drainage, nuisance type flooding, those smaller streams and creeks, those rapidly rise. So if you're along one of those, uh, certainly uh, take caution. And as we look into northwest Connecticut throughout Litchfield County, uh, we've got heavy rain through Sharon and Cornwall. Uh, east of 91, more of a scattered shower, certainly raining. It's wet statewide and that wind, Scott, is something that we're all going to have to contend with. You've had a report of some thunder and we've got more hours to go before this rain really begins to wrap up. Absolutely. I want to thank that viewer in Cheshire for letting me know that they heard some thunder and saw some lightning. Uh, where Mark was just indicating those scattered showers, a little bit less prevalent than on northwest and southwest Connecticut, you'll notice the visibility is a little bit better there than the rest of the state. So, But everybody should be cautious driving around this morning. Headlights on for safety. Windshield wipers going. Headlights on. That's the Connecticut state law. Wind advisory. High wind warnings for portions of the state, flood watches, coastal flood warnings for the uh, shoreline, as Mark was just indicating during the time of high tide, it's going to get a little worse this afternoon. So storm impacts, heavy rain, damaging wind, flooding, and of course, inland flooding as well as coastal flooding. There goes the area of low pressure. This is future cast. It's tomorrow's weather today. By 5 p.m., it's way, way up into portions of, uh, of uh, Canada, so we don't have to worry too much about it later on this afternoon through this evening. ICAMS, it's just just pouring in Waterbury. And you can see from the satellite and radar, we have more rain to go through. It's down to the south. Look at New Jersey. All of this is swinging in our direction. So get ready for a real wet go of it. All right, the three day forecast. We're talking about temperatures today that are incredibly mild uh, 44 to 45. And then uh, you're going to notice uh, 42 on Wednesday. So the temperatures drop each and every day through Friday. And then we start moderating for Christmas Eve weekend, Christmas Day, Monday. Uh, looking pretty good at this point so that's some good news Kate will